So the final race of the day then from a chilly but cheery Cheltenham is the year of the National Hunt Chase. Uh, this is a mammoth four mile event and I feel it's not all that big but it's a 0 to 180 as well so the top one is Pray for a Miracle Joshua Sutherland. Southern Quest Kevin Minahan, Musée de Beauart, Martin Leedham, Bright New Dawn Dar Daniel French, Wild Coco Dog Warren, Christmas Aria Darren Howes, Whitney J James Follis, Ellis Pawn, Carla Agante, Paula Graham, Clutterbuck, Veloce, Obi-Wan and Comanche, Stuart Gray, they're away and racing. And down towards the first of the fences in this marathon event to close day one. And one's out already, Wild Coco has gone. So, Wild Coco, obviously not too wild about the weather. And has headed back to the stable early as they take the second. They've got another 25 fences to negotiate. With a field of only 10 left, let's hope the jumping improves a little bit, or we won't have many left at the end. And Ellis Pawn on the outside of Veloci as they take the third. Uh, right to untidy looking jumps at that one as well. The ground is now officially heavy, as we said before the last race. And I think it's set to stay heavy for the rest of the festival, which may throw up a few surprise results, of course. Uh, Veloci in the yellow jacket leads by a head to Ellis Pawn. In second on the outside, a gap of five lengths to pray for a miracle. Who's after that one? And then Paula runs alongside him. And Whitney, the Comanche in the pale jacket, the orange of Musée de Beauart. And comes Bright New Dawn, Christmas Aria in the orange with the black sleeves. And the last one to rise there was Southern Quest in the green with the orange hoop. So a long way to go. Skip over number five. Some of these could be potential Grand National horses next week. It's a Grand National next week, and there's lots of long distance races this week to get your mark up or down, depending on your thinking. I'm pretty sure we'll get some top rated horses in that race, and so the weights will be a bit high again, as they usually are. You're gonna go up. 10 or 15 pound for winning this week it may not make much difference if you're on a low mark already so over that one they go and Veloci is the leader from Ellis Pawn in second and Paula is third that'll gap them back to pray for a miracle as they that on the next circuit they've got two more circuits to go and quite a few of the people have already Adjourned to the bar for the evening, I think. The rain was pretty relentless most of the day. And a couple of races in some sunshine earlier. Not dampen anybody's enthusiasm though, as they skip over that one. Quite a few people got a good win today. Two different people to normal. And Veloci's the leader from Ellis Paul in second. Cap back to Paula in third as they come to the water. Over that one they go. Southern Quest is still just the back marker. Pretty sure that one could well be National Band. I think it ran in the National Band the last season or the season before. Seems to ring a bell. Veloci and Ellis Pawn are clear over the 10th. From Paula in third. And Christmas Aria. And Pray for a Miracle. Whitney is next. Jockey trying to get a nice tune out of that one. And Comanche, Musée de Beauart and Southern Quest. Lochi is it on the inside of Ellis Port. These two are well clear as they take that ditch. Oops. Claimed a few casualties today, that fence, as they race downhill now. Lochi's in the lead. Ellis Port's on the outside in second. Porter is third, and Christmas Aria is fourth. And we'll get over that one nicely, apart from Wild Coco. The jumping's been. Not too bad since those first couple of fences where well, Coco crashed out pretty early and one or two were untidy. Since then they've got their acts together. And four mile on the heavy going. Well, you're going to need to be a proper stayer to win this. We'll see some pull up before too long. As they skip over that one. Down towards the halfway point shortly. And Ellis Pawn and Veloci are showing their way home. Paula and Christmas Aria after them, then Bright New Dawn in the turquoise jacket as they take that one. And the top white pray for a miracle. Southern Quest is getting a bit closer. 
Comanches after that one, then Whitney and Musée de Beau Art. Let's now drop to the back. Still a long way. Oh, looks like something's been pulled up at the back there. Is it Whitney? I think Whitney may be pulled up. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not named after Whitney Houston because it's a Formula One Follis horse, but I can't think of anything clever to say about anybody called Whitney apart from Whitney Houston. So Whitney obviously has a problem and out of the race. Not Sophie over that one. Veloci's the leader. Ellis Pawn second. Christmas Aria third. Over that one they go. That'll be the last next time round. Just one more circuit to go. And Veloci in the yellow jacket. That's now got a clear lead of a couple of lengths to Ellis Pawn in second. Christmas Aria's creeping closer in third. And Pooler in fourth. And Bright New Dawn in fifth. Those front five are in single file. And then they're being chased by Southern Quest with Comanche and Pray for a Miracle flanking that one. And Musée de Beauart is just the back marker. Over the next one they go then. And they're all safely over that one as well to make their way towards the water jump, which should be caught up next. And Veloc is in front. Right, Ellis Port. Over the water they go. Good jump there by Paula. Seeing that one move up on the inside of Christmas Aria. One or two of these haven't made their move yet, but with the heavy going and the weather, you're not going to want the leading group to get too far away if you sat out the back. And over this ditch they go. And the ones towards the back, especially Musée de Beauart. We'll have to think about getting a bit closer quite soon, I think. This is just about a mile to go as they take the next one. Over that one they all go with Veloci in the lead. Ellis Pawn second, Christmas Aria third, Paula four, Comanche five, Bright New Dawn six, and Pray for a Miracle seven, and Southern Quest eight, Musée de Beauart, the back marker of the nine that remain in the race. Coming down towards the next fence, then the 22nd, that's that big ditch, and over it they go, and they're all safely over it this time. And Veloc is in front, Christmas Aria though has now crept through nicely into second. Then comes Ellis Pawn in third, here comes the top weight, Pray for a Miracle, creeping around the outside as they skip over the 23rd. And they're now making their way towards the final six furlongs, racing downhill, swinging left-handed. And Veloci now joined by Christmas Aria. And this Paul is back in third. Then comes Comanche running on well in fourth. Pray for a miracle is fifth. Then comes Paul, a bit of a gap to Bright New Dawn. Southern Quest and Musée de Beauart are next. They take the 24th. And over that one, Southern Quest was down on his nose. But it's Christmas Aria who's now taking it up. Christmas Aria's in front from Veloci. Ellis Pawn, pray for a miracle. Then Paula. Then comes Pray for a Miracle. And and they're now making a move around the outside, but Comanche's now come through as well, and Comanche hits the front at that third last. Comanche's over in the lead from Pray for a Miracle on his outside. Veloci's trying to get back into it, then Christmas Aria. These four are clear of Paula and Ellis Pawn. I think we can forget the rest. It's Comanche in the lead. Comanche now by a length, making his way towards the second last fence. Comanche is in front from Veloci in second. Then comes Christmas Aria. Pray for a Miracle's after that one. Got a lot of weight, remember that one. Then comes Paula. Ellis Pawn is trying to run on again. Southern Quest and Brighton New Dawn and Mose and Beauart are out of it, but it's Comanche in the lead, coming out towards the second last, Comanche with Pray for a Miracle seemingly going well on the outside, Comanche didn't jump it well, Pray for a Miracle made a worse mistake, Christmas Aria now hits the front, here comes Paula on the outside, Christmas Aria, Paula, Comanche, then comes Pray for a Miracle up the final fence they go, and Paula jumps it, Miss Comanche's trying to fight back, Pray for a Miracle's battling away, so too is Christmas Aria, Paula's in front, inside the final furlong, Paula and Pray for a Miracle, this is going to be a brave performance on Pray for a Miracle, if he can win under this way, it's Pray for a Miracle in the lead, Pray for a Miracle's in the lead from Paula in second, Christmas Aria's trying to run in third, but it's Pray for a Miracle's going to take the last one up towards the line, Pray for a Miracle, a good winner from Paula second, Christmas Aria third, Comanche four, then Veloci, and then Musée de Beauart, and Bright New Dream was the last one to finish, and Pray for a Miracle takes it off the monster 12 stone weight for Joshua Sutherland, with Paula getting lumps of weight in second for Graham Clutterbuck, Christmas Aria for Darren Howells third, Comanche for Stu Gray fourth, Veloci for Obi-Wan was fifth, and a great end to the first day, pray for a miracle off top weight, takes the year of the National Hunt Chase.